And welcome everyone, broadcasting live from Whittington Oval, you're listening to Footscray Live. My name is Taylor and today I'm joined with Isaac, Miles, Luke and Marley. This is the Performing Arts Show and today's special guest is Aaron B. Um, he's a local musician and uh, yeah, so Aaron B, would you like to introduce uh, introduce yourself, sorry? Uh, good day, yeah. Um, <clears throat> my name is uh, Aaron B and I am a singer-songwriter uh, in Melbourne. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, so again, as a local musician, what do you do? Like, how did this whole thing start for you? Um, um, I actually started off uh, at a university, and then I kind of struggled my way through with that a little bit with the theory and stuff. So I decided to leave, and then uh, I was uh, referred to this studio called the Alpha Dodger Studio, um, and that's where I got to kind of make some of my uh, music and stuff and then yeah things just kind of started from there when I started making music. So uh, were you always passionate about music or was it something you just fell in love with when you were at that music studio? How did it all fall apart? Um, or come together? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah no, nah, I, I don't know I guess I've always like kind of sung a little bit but uh, mostly just it never really was like a career choice or yeah. uh, like a hobby that I wanted to pursue until I was like watching like the X Factor or something and I was just like, yeah, sure, I want to do that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, do you think you'd go on X Factor? Uh, uh, probably not, not from what I know now about um, yeah. production yeah. shows like that. Um, oh. uh, th- this is Isaac. Uh, Aaron, you mentioned uh, that you wanted to make uh, music one of your uh, uh, careers. Uh, is that your only career at the moment? Is that your, are you able to make a living from playing music or do you have to have a side job as well? Um, I do have a side job. Uh, I work in hospitality because mm-hmm. uh, being a musician and working in hospitality just go hand in hand apparently. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean like, you know, living the career of a musician, you're going to be broke anyway, no matter what. I'm just bad with money, so I'm always broke. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, uh, have you made any pieces that I might have heard of? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not yet. Uh, f- to follow up on that, do you have any original songs you've released yourself? Uh, no, but I am uh, releasing my first single on the second uh, in the second month on the 20th. Yes. How would you describe your music? <laughs> um, very like uh, storytelling. It's it's very based on uh, personal experiences, I guess, mostly. And, yeah. Would you consider your music like political at all, or not really? Uh, definitely not. I try to stay out of like politics and things like that. Uh, do you know who inspired you? Um, yeah, actually. Firstly, when I was watching um, X Factor, it was the year Dami M won. Oh. And I was just like, yeah, I was pretty captivated by her powerhouse vocals. And I was like, yeah, yeah, all right, done deal. Um, now that you mentioned Dami Im, obviously, she, you know, when she first started X Factor, she wasn't really anybody famous. Actually, I had a teacher. Uh, she was a music teacher. And <laughs> yeah. one of my teachers at school um, actually taught him, which is crazy. Yeah. Um, wow. And, you know, now she's she's huge. Yeah, now, yeah, you know, she's still part of a label. She's released, you know, a couple albums. Um, so did it really, was that like the moment it sort of hit you, like saying that like, this could be possible? You know, because... I think there's sort of this stigma around like TV shows, you know, singing shows, saying that, you know, even if you win, like it's not really too big of a deal. Yeah. Um, uh, but sometimes it truly does work. Is that. Yeah, no, I definitely think like if you know how to hustle the industry, yeah. then you're definitely. <laughs> you'll definitely be able to get somewhere. It's just. Yeah, I think. For with a lot of these TV shows, for example, like people go in there uneducated about what the industry is actually mm. like, and they just expect yeah. it to be all these bells and whistles when it's not. Hi, it's Molly here. I was just wondering, what is your ultimate music dream? <laughs> My ultimate music dream. Wow, <laughs> I haven't really actually thought about that one. Um, but I guess as like any musician, it would just be collaborations with mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. idols. Uh, do you have a favorite instrument? Um. I really love my Cole Clark, but there's just something about playing the piano. It's just, uh, it's just a bit, yeah. bit sweet. <laughs> uh, you mentioned earlier collaboration. Mm. Uh, have you played in any bands or considered playing in any bands? Um, I played in my own band <laughs> one time. <laughs> yeah. uh, that was that was pretty sweet. Um, but 
actually, I did, I was a part of a band for like five seconds. I did some backing <laughs> vocals, which is pretty, pretty amazing. Um, I was opening for Kira Peru. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, the band I was a part of was uh, Dallas Frasco. And mm-hmm. yeah, it was pretty, pretty sweet. Cool. Cool. Uh, now that you're just mentioning, you know, your ultimate goal being collaborations, who is your dream artist to collaborate with? <laughs> besides, you know, besides the band, just you as a solo artist. Um, yeah, I've actually always thought about it. Uh, thought about that one. Be a little tricky, like. <laughs> but I think mostly the person who I'd like to collaborate with the most would be the most like gen, uh, the most uh, genre diverse. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Which would most likely be like Lady Gaga or something like that. Oh yeah. Just because of like the yeah. whole country, then pop, then like uh, she did a band with Metallica. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. A band, an album with Metallica. Yeah, I think, yeah, so I think she is definitely a very diverse artist. I mean, I think she, yeah, started with, like, EDM, and then she went into, like, more pop, and then yeah. uh, country, and I think it really can show, you know, I think a lot of artists are sort of uh, strict, you know, down to, like, you, this is your only genre that you can do, um, and I think, you know, she's an artist who's huge, you know, um, yeah. and who's probably got tons of contracts with labels, but she still has been able to sort of diversify her music and still keep her fan base together. Yeah. Hey, Aaron, um, we've talked about your music as it is now, but how long have you actually been playing music and what instruments did you start off as um that's i guess i started learning maybe when i was about 16 or 17 mm-hmm. um i start i just picked up a book of chord guitar is, chords is that more in a practical sense or a theory yeah. sense um mostly just in a practical sense because yeah. i'm still really bad at theory yeah. <laughs> uh what's your favorite thing about being a musician uh, the free food. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the free food is definitely a big uh, hit. I enjoy a good uh, a good uh, a good meal. Um, I did a uh, a corporate gig at the MCG, and they served this like three course meal with wow. just wow. like unlimited alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> it's very fun. So, um, what venues have you played at? Um, obviously the MCG. Um. <laughs> I just put me on the spot. Um, just like a lot of uh, like buildings, like BP and stuff. Um, and I was fortunate enough to play on the Mangrok footy show while it was still on television. Um, now that you mentioned that, uh, I just want to quickly, if you're tuning in, you're currently listening to the Performing Arts Show on Footscray Live, and currently we are joined with our special guest, Aaron B, who's a local musician. Uh, now that you mentioned uh, performing on uh, the footy show, you mentioned, did you feature, I think you sung an original song, is that yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, do you want to talk about what that original song was? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, it was just a little bit of a personal experience that I went through, and yeah. Um, yeah, one that I unfortunately just yeah. <laughs> uh, if you could travel anywhere and play to the people, where would you go? I'd really like to go somewhere cold, like Canada or like London or something. Just somewhere nice and cold. <laughs> it's just easier that way. <laughs> oh, why is it easier that way? It's just better for me in the winter. I just, I just run really hot. Yeah, no, that, that works. Australia's pretty hot. Uh, actually, now that you mentioned that, uh, Australia, would you ever consider, like, moving out of the country, like, to, like, LA or somewhere else where, you know, the music scene's, you know, really prominent and really big uh, to contribute with your career? Um, I thought, maybe I, I thought a little bit back um, when Sydney was still holding, like, oh, yeah. music and stuff. But then, I guess... It kind of really just became Melbourne prominent. I think, yeah, Melbourne music. Is big, yeah. Mm. So I guess, yeah, probably not. I'll just stay around here. <laughs> um, Aaron, earlier you spoke about when you're writing your music, your lyrics are often um, depicted on personal experiences. Yep. Uh, what about the actual uh, chords and stuff? Uh, aside from the lyricism, mm. um, how would you go about that? Do you have specific formulas you use or... Um, just muck around. How does that all work? I mostly just wing it and hope for the best, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, do you record with live instruments? Um, no. All my stuff is uh, studio recorded. It just makes it easier yeah. and less people you have to pay. Mm. Yeah. So do you use a, uh, uh, a program? Uh, well, the producer that I work with uses, uh, I think, Ableton. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
um, now that you mentioned sort of like producing music and actually being in the studio, um, and you know, Isaac was talking about sort of, you know, writing your chords together, uh, do you have a specific songwriting process? Uh, not really, just usually when I'm all up in my feels and stuff, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. just like, oh, this is sad, I'll just write this, <laughs> and then that's it. And I think, does it come a lot more naturally like that? Yeah, definitely, yeah. well, for me anyway, especially. Um, other than Muddy, what's another struggle you face being a local musician? Um, wow, that's a tough question. Because, <laughs> I mean, other than Muddy, what else is there? <laughs> it's like... I guess that's like kind of the thing you need to sustain yourself for rent, food, bills, like I guess money is just like the yeah. commodity that you need. Yeah, well if you could, uh, is that the job that you wanted when you were growing up as a kid? No, I wanted to be like uh, all types of like kinds of like drivers, like a bus driver or a taxi <laughs> driver, or something like that. <laughs> uh, Aaron. Yeah, because we've got a lot of people listening to the show at the moment, um, there's um, there's bound to be a few listeners out there who want to become a musician themselves. What advice would you maybe give to them uh, if they were wanting to try out and sort of get themselves out there? I think definitely determination. Like, I have been told, like, no a billion times and you know, mm-hmm. I'm still, like, I don't look at it as, like, uh, no, you ca- you shouldn't be doing this. I look at it as a like you know, you have an opportunity to become better. You know, mm-hmm. surpass essentially what you've been told. No, mm-hmm. but yeah, I think just a lot of determination. Yeah. Um, now that you mentioned you're having determination and you know trying to you know bounce back after people say no, is there any way you do that? Like any way, um, you know, you can bounce back because a lot of times you know people really take that to heart and it is it is hard, you know. Definitely, I think, um, especially in this industry, though, you need to have a very thick skin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And just like it, it's easier, like when you grow up in that kind of environment, mm. and to essentially not having it any different when you're an adult. Yeah. So it's just like it's a bit of like, oh yeah, tough it, move on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, now mentioning the music industry, have you ever tried to send you know any of your songs or um, any like demos to any like big labels or even like an indie label? No, I've actually never tried that to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> uh, would it be something that you would consider trying um, uh, in the near future? Maybe. I don't know. I guess I kind of just... I'm more focused on like my own music, like in a sense, like not essentially say if my song gets picked up by someone and they don't want me to sing it and get someone else to mm. sing it. Like that's like kind of like, oh, I don't want that to happen. So I guess I just like try and focus on my own stuff and getting that out there. Um, well, since you are an independent artist, and you did mention earlier that I think in February you're releasing a new single. Yep. Um, so how, what's that like, you know, releasing your debut single? Is it difficult, you know, f- trying to figure out marketing and stuff? Um, it is essentially because, you know, like when you first, you know, you're doing your first release or whatever, and then essentially you, you don't have like a very wide fan base. So it's yeah. like really your friends and stuff. Like even though that's an amazing support, like, you know, it, it yeah. kind of go, stays of course, in the same yeah. circle. It doesn't go any further than yeah. that. Um, but yeah, I think that, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. No. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much so. Um, can you share a story of one time that you were stuck writing music or... Or you never stuck. <laughs> um, you, well, it's it's usually like I'll write, you know, um, a bit of a verse or a chorus or whatever, and yeah. then I'll just leave it for like five months and then I come back to it. And, yeah, it's pretty much like that. Not. <laughs> um, and now, Aaron, thank you so much uh, for being you. in this interview. But for a final question, before you perform a song for us, yeah, uh, what would you say is your favorite part of being a musician? Um. I definitely think just being able to do what I do, like, and express myself just yeah. Yeah. in a way that's kind of, like, therapy to me and relatable to others, I guess. And just, yeah, have a really good time doing it. That's really awesome. Well, uh, I think we're just setting up. Uh, yeah. So, Aaron, if you'd like to yeah, go yeah. and uh, get ready. <laughs> So guys, this was an interview with Aaron B. He's a local musician here in uh, Melbourne, and he was about to perform a song for us. Uh, we're just setting up his microphone and guitar, and uh, he's super talented, guys. You can follow him on Instagram at Aaron B. Music. Um, and yeah, let's hear him play a little something. I'm not so sure if this is gonna be a cover or an original song. All right, here is Aaron B. Okay. So this is just uh, the song that I got to perform on Mangrove Footy Show. 
Uh, it's called uh, Love Me. <laughs> Waiting for the other shoe to drop. Trying, but I can make it stop. No, I'm fighting to keep a love for life. Wishing we would never die. Why is it hard to just come and love me? It's not a mistake. I want you, baby. Don't be scared, jumping at first. I'll be there to catch you when it hurts. When it hurts. When it hurts. Die while the worst inside my mind. Hurting you with every single line No, I'm pleading that I will waste your time Hoping the word of you be mine Why is it hard? Just come and love me It's not a mistake I want you, baby Don't be scared Jumping at first I will let it catch you when it hurts When it hurts When it hurts When you left me I died of being sad I couldn't sleep at night while you were making up your mind And I was so confused I couldn't see the end of the line I tried to be there for you but you didn't have the time Why is it hard to just come and love me? It's not a mistake. I want you, baby. Don't be scared. Jumping at first. I will let it catch you when it hurts. When it hurts. When it hurts. When it hurts. Thanks, guys. All right, well, that brings our show to an end. Thank you so much for joining us, Aaron. Again, that was Aaron B. from a, uh, He's a local musician. You can find him on Instagram and Aaron B. Music. My name is Taylor, and I'd like to thank my panel, Miles, uh, Luke, and Molly. And uh, thank you for joining the Performing Arts Show on Footscray Live. Thank you. You are listening to Footscray Live.